serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high-fidelity, all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. It's time for the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout on the Show Me Sports Network. This is the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout pregame show on the exclusive broadcast home, the Show Me Sports Network. We'll recap last night's highlights and set the stage for tip-off, all while we set to bring you the exciting play-by-play action from the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout. The best broadcast coverage in mid-Missouri is on the air, as Blake Gasway and the crew are ready in the broadcast booth. Exclusive pregame coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout is brought to you by Avon with Michelle Carty, Boone County Journal, Centurion Cares, Eddie Goodell Society, Pond Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, Kathy Rush, Remax Realty, Last Sentinel Firearms, River Oak Christian Academy, Sawdust Studios, Law Offices of Russ Swanigan, Southwest Dental Care, and State Tech of Missouri. The excitement is building in the stands and the tension is rising courtside as tip-off is just around the corner. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout on the Show Me Sports Network. Now here's the voice of the Show Me Sports Network, Blake Gasaway. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone. Blake Gasaway here with you from the third time of four tonight. We're coming to you live from the beautiful Fred E. Davis multi-purpose facility on the campus of State Fair Community College. So Blake Gasway here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. Here's we're bringing you coverage from the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout as we're getting ready for game three of four tonight and game three of 22 when it's all said and done. First two games, well, the split doubleheader as the Lincoln Lady Cardinals fell short of the Concordia Lady Orioles by a score of 67-34. to However, the boys were able to split the doubleheader as the Cardinals beat the Orioles by a final of 54-39. to For this game, our second doubleheader action, it'll be Otterville as the visiting team playing Jamestown. So it's an Eagles versus Eagles and a Lady Eagles versus Lady Eagles matchup here as we round up game three and four of the WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. While we're trying to pick up starting lineups here, be sure if you haven't done so, like our page on Facebook, just search For the Show Me Sports Network, you'll find us on there. Also, uh, be sure and share that page, share the link. As however you're enjoying to, uh, however you're choosing to listen to today's game, I should say, and tonight's games, either on the Show Me Sports Network Media Center, or if you're listening by way of our Show Me Sports Network app, we're glad. You are tuned in to the second doubleheader action we have here on the Show Me Sports Network. The referees going through some final instructions here. We'll start with the Lady Eagles of Otterville. So they'll start a senior in wearing number three. Haley Drafen, a junior wearing number four, Katie McKinney, a senior wearing number 10, Carrie McKinney, a senior in Josie Neal, she's wearing 12, and a sophomore wearing number 20, 
in Jenna Halter to round out their starting five. They're coached by Jay Allen. Don't have the other information on them. For the Jamestown Lady Eagles, they'll start number five. Olivia Orley, number 10. Gina Meisenheimer, number 11. Kylie Russell, number 14. Annabelle Sumner. And finally, number 20, Jolene Sorrells to round out their five. And they're coached, we said, Pete Thomas. So they are just about set, as we said, don't have all the information from these two teams. Both have very limited squads. As uh, both teams only having six on the roster. So this is really iron woman basketball, to say the least. So both teams meet in center circle. As they say, they are ready. Ball is in the air. Tip is going to be controlled by Otterville. A shot up no good. A left-handed shot by Carrie McKinney. Teams matching up here. As I said, only six players on the roster. This is Meisenheimer with it. She'll kick it to Sorrells. Now back to Meisenheimer. But about the three didn't take it. She drives in. And she traveled. Had the ball stripped out of her hands as she went up. Came back down with it. So Otterville will have the basketball. Full court pressure put on. As McKinney will have it. Over to Neal. Cross court pass here on the near side. Drafen with it. Shot on the backside up and good. First points of the bucket. That's for Katie McKinney, the junior. And the Lady Eagles of Otterville lead by two at two to nothing. With it in the right wing for a moment was Orley. Looking down low, she'll get it back. She fires up along two off the iron. No good rebound. Be tracked down in the corner. Going the other way is Otterville. They have the two-point lead looking to add to it. As McKinney will have it, she'll give it to the other McKinney. That's Katie. Back to Carey. Now Katie with it here on the near side. Working right to left on your media center. Nice move to the bucket, but missed the bunny. She comes up short. It's still 2 to nothing in favor of Otterville. There's going to be a pass stolen going the other way with it. Is Neal. She'll drive in. Left-hander up. No good. Kylie Russell gets her first foul, first team foul. Boys half of this doubleheader. We have double doubleheader action here this evening, as well as tomorrow night. Four games in total. This is game three of four. Free throw up good by Neal. Her team now has a three-point lead at three to nothing. 6.25 left on the clock here in this first period. Second free throw up. That one also good. So she makes both of those. It's now four to nothing lead. As Meisenheimer will have it here on the near side. She got a pass back from the right wing. She'll drive into the paint, throw it up. No bucket. It'll be rebounded going the other way by Katie McKinney. She'll give an a pass off to Carey. Left wing. Stepped on the baseline was Draffin. So it'll go back to Jamestown. Jamestown trails four to nothing here. So we played two minutes in this first period. Eisenheimer will have it across the timeline. Jamestown working left to right on your media center or your Show Me Sports Network app. Eisenheimer just traveled with it. So we'll go back to Otterville. They will have some pressure to work with, but have no problem getting through it. Three-pointer up, left it well short. That was Halter. So rebound comes down to Jamestown. Eisenheimer will have it. Wraparound pass. Down it to Sorrells. Now with it is Russell in the right wing. She'll drive around traffic, fire up a shot. No good. 
Rebound offensive put back up and good by Meisenheimer. Almost called it too early, but got it to drop in. So that lead cut to two at four to two. Gary McKinney will have the ball here on the near side. Now in the paint with it is Neal. She tries to back her way in. Underhanded baby hook goes in. She's got four points. Lead is now six to two. So we're nearing halfway through this opening period. Eisenheimer will have it working far side. Bounce pass to Sumner. Around the horn, no go. Meisenheimer looking down low in the paint. Sumner has it. Shot up, no good. Rebound comes down to Neal. They'll go the other way. She'll get it quickly in the front court to Katie McKinney. She'll drive in, lay it off, left it well off line. Rebound goes the other way to Meisenheimer. It's a two on two the other way. She'll keep it herself. Shot was blocked by Neal. Offensive rebound up and good. That one by Sorrells. And it's now a six to four game. That lead again cut down to two. At 6-4. to four. Right wing with it is Halter. Cross-court pass over to Neal. Ball goes off of her, but coming out with it is Carrie McKinney, so they will stay. Wide open backside shot up and good. That by Katie McKinney. She's got four points. Lead goes back to four at 8-4 to four in favor of Ottersville over Jamestown. Right wing with it for a moment was Orley. On top of the key, Sorrells. Now Meisenheimer with it. She'll put down her dribble and just threw it away as wide open court in front of her, Katie McKinney. She'll kiss it off the glass. She's got six points, an easy bucket there. And we'll have a 30-second timeout called as 30-second for Jamestown. So we'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Boonville, WK Chevy and Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. It's a 10-4 ball game in favor of Ottersville. That pass was too tall for Kylie Russell. But they do say one of the Otterville players touched it last. So we'll stay with Jamestown. Eisenheimer will lead point here. She'll make a nice move. No look pass behind her. Shot up and good by Russell. She cuts that lead down to four at 10 to six, her first bucket of the ball game. So Otterville has it, looking down low on the give and go, and bucket up good, count it, as Neal gets the bucket. That foul call on Orley, her first, second team. So Neal has a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. She's already two of two from the free throw line. Team lead back to six, looking for seven. She does not make that. Rebound will come down in the hands of Jamestown. Sorrells will have it here on the near side. Cross court pass over on the far side to Meisenheimer. Hees has checked in. She thought about a three, did not take it. Shot up, no good. Rebound will come down and go the other way to Otterville. Otterville will have it. As McKinney, that's Katie McKinney, just had it knocked out. Draffin will go back and get it. No backcourt call because it was touched. That passed too hard out of the hands of Halter. So we'll go back to Jamestown. 2.24 left to go here in this opening period. 12-6 to six score in favor of Otterville. Eisenheimer has it. Now Sorrells. To Meisenheimer here on the near side. Thought about the three, gave a foot fake, but didn't take it. That pass offline was intended for Orley, but goes out of bounds. 206 left here in this opening period. Again, 12 to 6 score. So Annabelle Sumner checks back in. So 
Lauderville does have the six-point lead at 12 to 6. Carrie McKinney will have it. Her and Katie will play some catch. Three-pointer by Katie up no good. Rebound is going to be taken, though, by Carey. She'll give a cross-court pass over to Halter. Another three up. That one offline. That one by Carey McKinney. Rebound will be controlled by Jamestown. Knocked out of bounds, though, by one of the Lady Eagles players. So... Ewan Loveland, the sophomore, will check in for Otterville. There ain't a minute and a half to go here. Otterville does have the lead at 12 to 6. With it is Hees. She'll give a bounce pass. Off to Eisenheimer, who had it taken away. Otterville goes the other way. Left-handed hook too strong by Katie McKinney. She got too fast, too quick. Couldn't lay it in. Three-pointer by Sorrells. Up, left it short, dinked it off the side iron. That'll be out of bounds. Last touched by Otterville. So it will be an inbound for Jamestown underneath their own bucket. Inbound goes top of the key. Meisenheimer will have it here on the near side. Now he's with it. She'll kick it for Sumner. They'll play a little weave out there. Sumner will get it again. Long two-pointer up. Couldn't bank it in. Rebound comes down in the hands. Katie McKinney. Now Neal will have it. She'll bounce pass looking on the backside. Couldn't connect with Loveland. So goes back to Jamestown. Under 40 seconds to go here in this opening period of our third game of the day. Nice move. Head and shoulder fake. Meisenheimer steps in. Couldn't get the shot to go. Got her own rebound. Gets tied up. We have a jump ball called. Possession air points in favor of Jamestown. Again, Otterville leads 12-6 here. So Jamestown will inbound it. Standing to the right of their own bucket. Soros pulls the trigger out front. Is Heese. Now she bounce pass it to Sumner straight away. Running one-hander up, no good. Rebound comes down. Sorrells puts it back up. Neal rejects it. She got all of that, sends it out of bounds. So we'll go back and stay with Jamestown. 18.7 seconds left here in this first period. Inbound to Orley. She fires up a three, missed it. Rebound's going to be poked around, taken out by Otterville. Going the other way with it is McKinney. That's Katie McKinney weaving around traffic. She's going to fire it left wing to Draffin. In the paint, Neal skies for it, lays it off the glass. She's got eight points. That will take us to the end of the first period. It's 14-6 in favor of Otterville. We'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Are your end-of-the-year insurance deductibles met? Hi, this is Morgan from Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine here in Sedalia. If you are scheduled for surgery or planning to have an elective procedure, your physical or occupational therapy could cost you little to nothing out of pocket. When you need personalized therapy, our dedicated, friendly staff of therapists are here for you. With more than 40 locations here in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. To find a clinic near you, call us today or visit us online at Peak sportspine.com. Physical therapy or occupational therapy is a journey. Let us be there with you on the road to recovery. Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. Otterville has the lead in the basketball lead 14 to 6 here. Neal has it on the right wing shot up no good. That one taken by 
Katie McKinney. Rebound will come down and go the other way to Jamestown. As Jamestown trails 14 to 6. That three pointer up, no good. That was by Russell. Rebound will come down to Katie McKinney, the junior. She's got six points for her Lady Eagles team. Carrie McKinney will have it. The senior and the junior play a little catch. Now they'll try to hit on the backside. Loveland, she was wide open, but pass was just too tall for her. So it goes back to Jamestown. Clock stops, 7.20 to go here before halftime. Eisenheimer, <clears throat> a little slowly jogging the front court with it here on the near side. We have a kick ball. So it'll be an inbound for Jamestown. Swirls will inbound it. Standing in front of the Otterville bench. She'll get it into wide open Sumner, who will dribble around to the far side. Just had it taken away, though. Nice job of Katie McKinney to get the steal, lay it off, lay it in. She's got eight points tied for leading scorer in the game so far. Neal has the other eight. Three-pointer up, left it short was Heese. Offensive putback up no good by Sumner. That one up no good. Trying to go up again with it. That's foul called on Loveland, her first team first. Kylie Russell will be at the free throw line, has two points. Looking to cut this double-digit lead down to single digits. That free throw no good. Alter checks in, checking out is Katie McKinney. Russell missed the first one, trying to make the back half. Second free throw, that one too strong. And rebound will be knocked out of bounds. Will belong to Otterville. So Otterville leads by 10 at 16 to 6. Nearing six and a half to go here in the first half. Free throw line, Neal. Back to Loveland. Shot up good. Even Loveland, the sophomore, gets her first bucket of the game. That's now a 12 point lead at 18 to 6. Three pointer up off the iron bricked it was East. Rebound, though, offensively for Sorrells. Looking for it back. Gets it, trying to back her way in. She'll fire up a jumper. No good. Rebound. Again, that time controlled by Meisenheimer, so third time's a charm here for Jamestown. Three-pointer up, no good by Russell. Offensive putback, no good, but Meisenheimer will go to the line. Kerry McKinney, the senior, picks up her first foul, second team foul. Gina Meisenheimer has two points. Is that the line? First free throw, good. Loveland checks out. McKinney checks in. Orley checks in for Jamestown. He checks out. That free throw rattled out. So she's only able to make one of those. <laughs> 11 point lead at 18 to 7. Katie and Carey. McKinney will play some catch. Looking down low. Neal has a shot up. No good, but she had. Sorrell's on her back. Her first foul, third team foul. So Neal will be at the free throw line. That one's up perfect. She's got nine points. Leading scorer in the game, looking for double digits, number 10. She rattles that one in. She's got 10 points. Is a four or five from the free throw line, and it's a 13 point lead at 20 to seven. Eisenheimer has it, Sorrell's with it. Now Russell in the right wing. She's trying to work the baseline. Worked it too close, stepped on it, turnover goes back to Otterville. Otterville has the lead at 20 to seven. Five and a half to go here. Three pointer. Forthcoming, it does not fall in. Offensive putback up and good 
That one by Katie McKinney. She's got two more points. That gives her double digits with 10 in the game, and it's 22-7 in favor of Otterville. And it is Sumner. She's fouled as she's trying to go to the bucket. A foul on Neal, her first, team third. Sorrells will pull the trigger on the inbound. Meisenheimer throws up a long two, no good. Rebound is going to be tied up. <clears throat> and a jump ball, possession error points to Jamestown, so we'll stay on this end of the court. Five minutes exactly left in the first half. Russell will pull the trigger, standing to the right of her own bucket. She'll get it in straight away to Sumner. Trying to look in the paint. Shot up by Russell. Good. <clears throat> She's got four points. A right, 22 to 9 score in favor of Otterville. McKinney will have it. Now Halter back to Katie McKinney. Right wing with it for a moment was Draffin. Looking down low, Neal has it. Backing her way in. Nothing doing there. She'll kick it near side to Halter. Three-pointer up. No good. Too strong. Rebound will be taken by Meisenheimer. She's got a head of steam going the other way. Had it poked out from behind, but got a pass off. Shot up off the glass. No good. That by Sumner. Some contact there. No call. And it's wide open on the other end. As Neal shot up off and good. Halter with the nice assist. Great ball movement there by Otterville to find where players were in wide open spaces. Reaching foul on Katie McKinney, her first team fourth. Loveland will check in for Otterville. Also checking in is Heese. <clears throat> Heese will check in for Jamestown. Heese will have it. Three-pointer up, in and out, no good. Rebound will be knocked out, taken by Orley. Her shot up, no good. Third time up, no good. Rebound will be knocked out. And I'll say last touched by McKinney. So we'll stay with Jamestown as they trail 24-9 to here. 3.54 left here in the first half. Pass is going to be knocked up but taken by Heese. Three-pointer up. That one missed everything by Orley. Rebound comes down to Katie McKinney. Had it knocked out of her hands by Sorrells, but... We'll go off of her, so we'll stay with Otterville. So Otterville has the 24-9 score advantage right now. 340 left to go here in this first half. Halter will have it. Cross-court pass over to Draffin. Now on the near side with it is McKinney. He'll play a little catch with Halter. Now Draffin. Neal will have it on the far side. Now Halter, three-pointer from the near side up, left it short. Rebound, though, will come down into the hands of Draffin. She'll get it to Loveland. She's ran into. Couldn't get the shot to fall. Rimmed out. Rebound comes down to Jamestown. Soros will go the other way. Mishandles a dribble. Tries to save it. Could not get a hand on it. Goes off her shin. And out of bounds. So it'll go the other way as Otterville leads 24-9 to and has the basketball. Inbound goes into Halter. She'll kick it for Draffin. Now McKinney. Neal has it in the paint. Loveland backside shot up. No good. Missed it. Rebound comes down into the hands of Jamestown. Loveland just put a little too much on it. Free throw line is Meisenheimer. Russell three-pointer up. No good. Rebound comes down to Orley. But taken away by McKinney. She's double team, triple team now. Loveland has it. Gets it to Neal. They break the timeline. No problem. He will have it, drive into the paint, lay it off the glass, left it short. Rebound will come down to Jamestown as we're two and a half to go here in the first half. 24-9 score in favor of Otterville. Pass knocked out, taken away by Neal. As Sorrells was going to the bucket, Neal will come out of it, dish it off to Katie McKinney, shot off the glass, no good, got a rebound, tries to go up, stripped of it, coming out of there with it. Going the other way is Russell. She's got 
Wide open court on the other side. Her shot up, good. Russell takes it coast to coast, lays it off the glass. 24 to 11. And we have a timeout called. It'll be a full timeout, so we'll take a break here and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Do you experience pain? Are you tired of pills and prescriptions? Hi, this is Deidre from Sedalia Laser Pain Center inside Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Laser therapy is a medical breakthrough in treating all your aches and pains. And our physical therapy patients enjoy this treatment at no charge. We can treat everything from sore muscles, strains, tears, pre- and post-surgery pain, arthritis, and so much more. So call today or find us online at peaksportspine.com for your free consultation. And beat the pain the natural way. The basketball as well. As McKinney will have it, cross-court pass here on the near side to carry. McKinney, three-pointer up, that one no good. Eventually, both these teams have to have one fall. As we have seen them throw a plethora of three-pointers. Straight away three, in and out, no good. That one by Meisenheimer. Rebound will come down to Otterville. Halter hauls it in. So she'll go the other way as we're a minute ten left in this first half. In the paint to Neal. Around the horn they go to McKinney, to the other McKinney. Neal has a free throw line near side with it. His draft and three-pointer up. Off the iron, no good. Rebound will come down into the hands of Jamestown. Soros will take it the other way. She'll kick it. Meisenheimer, top of the key, head and shoulder fake. She'll move into the paint. No look pass from the near side. Shot up, good. Sumner has her first bucket. Nice assist there by Meisenheimer. Under 30 seconds to go here. Harry McKinney had it for a moment. Now she will, Katie McKinney will get in the paint. Now off to her sister, Carrie. That shot no good. I well, shouldn't say sister. I think they're sisters. Shot no good either way. And Meisenheimer will have it. Work around traffic. Shot blocked by Neal. As we've got 10 seconds left. Carrie McKinney, the senior, will dribble around. She'll give it off to Draffin. Back to McKinney. With it is Katie. She'll fire up a three off the iron. No good, and that will take us <clears throat> pardon me, to halftime. As your score at halftime, the Otterville Lady Eagles 24 and the Jamestown Eagle, Lady Eagles rather 13. We'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions the following public service announcement is brought to you by the eddie goodell society jefferson city chapter 10 doing little things to make a big difference want to make a big difference in your community be kind to others drive safely and put litter in its proper place Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! 
Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom. Using large format, high-powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. This state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Visit HanCustomLaserEngraving.MyShopify.com or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business career and technical education at state fair community college can prepare you for an in-demand high-paying manufacturing career in one year or less professional and skills certificates are available in industrial maintenance welding construction management automotive tech agriculture and more at state fair community college technical programs are nc3 certified which means you're trained to the current industry standards companies are looking for visit sfccmo.edu slash tech jobs to learn more Perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Uh -huh. I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We <laughs> love, oh, we it. love it. <laughs> but we're thinking about Tokyo. Uh -huh. I know a guy. You know an agent too. It's Kathy Rush at Remax Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. When you buy a used car, how do you know that hasn't been in an accident? Experience water damage or worse, have major engine problems. This is Kyle Wymouth with WK. Here, all pre-owned vehicles less than 10 years old and under 100,000 miles come standard with peace of mind, wrapped up inside a six-month, 6,000-mile 6 powertrain warranty. And because we sell more vehicles than anyone in West Central Missouri, we get more quality trades, so we don't have to shop the used car auctions. For used car peace of mind, visit WK in Sedalia, Boonville, and at WK Family. I'm as the Otterville Lady Eagles leading the Jamestown Lady Eagles 24 to 13. And taking a look at our halftime scoring summary, leading all scorers were the Lady Eagles of Otterville. I guess I could say leading all scorers for Lady Eagles since both teams are Lady Eagles. Well, with 12 points, senior Josie Neal, 10 points put in by junior Katie McKinney. And two points put in by Ewan Loveland, the sophomore, to round out their scoring. For Jamestown, their leading scorer with six points is Kaylee Russell. Three points put in by Gina Meisenheimer and two by Annabelle Sumner and Jolene Sorrells. Each have two apiece. Taking a look at the scoring by quarter. First quarter won by Otterville, 14-6. to six, And Otterville outscoring Jamestown in the second quarter, 10 to 7. Looking at foul trouble. Well, nobody really anywhere close. Four fouls called for Otterville. Four players with one apiece. For Jamestown, they have three players with one apiece, so nobody in foul trouble with that. Don't forget, there's a another game after this. It'll be the boys' half of the doubleheader as the Otterville Eagles will be the visiting team, but they will be playing the Jamestown Eagles. That matchup will happen set for a 9 o'clock first tip, so we should be on pregame about 8, 58, 55, somewhere in there. We will have the game of that as this game right here, game 3 of 4 today, here in day 1 of 5 days in the 2021 WK Holiday shootout. We're going to take a break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform with a guarantee of 100% American-made products. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. 
Liberal Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers kinder prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students with the student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder prep offerings include three and five full day sessions with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573-634-3983. I'm Alex Maupin, physical therapist with Peak Sport and Spine. Do you have muscle spasms, neck, shoulder, or leg pain? How about reoccurring headaches, low back pain, or chronic pain? You should ask us about dry needling, a process that can help you with these problems and more. There's no need to live with these ailments. And I'm Morgan Thompson, occupational therapist. I specialize in both hands and upper extremities at Peak Sport and Spine here in Marshall. We are here to help you enjoy life more by relieving you of pain and help give you a better overall quality of life. Come see us today here in Marshall. As a former veteran, for two years I tried to get my disability and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Swinigan and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the benefits you've earned. The law offices of Russ Swanigan. There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 Six three four four nine zero nine, or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com. To get the best smile in town, you mustache to Southwest Dental Care. We are State Tech. We are hands-on education. When you choose the number one two-year college in the country, you know you will be ready for your career. That's why at State Tech, we say... From the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. Hello, Blake Gazaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Instructions here as we are just about done with halftime. A couple of housekeeping things I need to take care of here. So our score here at halftime, Otterville, 24 Jamestown 13. Otterville does have the basketball as they have the lead. We'll switch sides of the court. So Ottersville, sorry, Otterville, I keep saying that. Otterville is going left to right on your media center or your Show Me Sports Network app. Looking down low for Neil. Shot on the backside up and good. Nice ball movement there. Is found. Gary McKinney open. He lays it up for two points. Her first bucket of the game, it's 26-13, so doubled up. Have the Jamestown Lady Eagles. Pass goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jamestown, so we'll go back to Otterville. Giraffin will have it for a moment. That low shot up good, that by Katie McKinney. She's got 12 points, and she makes it. From the low post. Eisenheimer will walk it across the timeline. She'll take it on the far side. She'll get it back. Wrap around pass to Sorrells. Down low in the paint. Was looking for Russell. Too tall for her. Goes out of bounds. So we'll go back to Otterville. 
in the boys' half of this doubleheader. Coming up, set for a 9 o'clock tip-off. We should be pretty true to that time, I think. As left wing with it is Katie McKinney. They'll cross-court pass it over to Carey. Looking on the backdoor cutter wasn't there. Halter has it, cross-court pass again over to Carey McKinney. Now out front with it is Draffin. Now Halter, Draffin will get it here on the near side. Now back to Carey McKinney. Just setting up, trying to find something down low. It's been effective all night. Looking for McKinney to cut down their three-pointer up. Was short by Draffin. Offensive put back up and no good. That by McKinney, that one up. And good, that one by Neal. She's got 14. She was there on the third time to put it in. Opens that lead up, the biggest we've seen so far at 17 points. It's 30 to 30 to 13. Pass going to be knocked out by Draffin. will stay with Jamestown. So they'll inbound it on the far side of the court. Alyssa... East will get ready to check in the game for Jamestown. Russell will have it. Now Meisenheimer looking down low over through everybody. Sorrells was saying, surely that wasn't intended for me because that was way too high. Sumner will step out. Stepping in is Heese. So Otterville will have the basketball. We played two minutes here in this third period. Out front with it is Draffin. Far side, that's Carrie McKinney. She'll be guarded by Meisenheimer, kicking near side to Draffin. Looking on the back side, shot up, missed everything, was McKinney fighting for the rebound and taken away by Neal. Her shot up, no good. Offensive put back that time up, that one no good. That one by Katie McKinney. Well, there was five shots, four shots there, and couldn't get any to fall. As Jamestown will come out of their end of the court with it. Straight away, three-pointer up by Soros. That one in and out, no good. Rebound poked around. Going to be controlled by Heath. So another opportunity to put up points. Shot up. That one by Russell, no good. Neal gets the rebound for Otterville. Otterville will go the other way as she'll run point now. She'll leave it near side for Halter. Now far side with it is Draffin. Cross-court pass. Was offline. Ended up in Jay Allen's hands. However, he is ineligible as he's the head coach. So Loveland checks in, checking out as Neal. So we're under five to go here in this third period. It's 30-17 to 17 in favor of Otterville. With it will be Sorrells. Now cross-court pass over to Heese. She'll have a wraparound pass. Nice job shot up by Russell, no good. Offensive rebound by Sorrells. Her putback is up and good. She got the right-hander to fall, and he goes in. Quickly down the court in the paint with it is Katie McNeil. Her shot up good, McKinney rather. Her shot up and good. She's got 14 points. She just backed her way between two Jamestown players and laid it off the glass. It's 32-15. Meisenheimer has it. She'll... Leave it for Russell. She'll drive in. Pass off free throw line. Shot up. No good. That bounced out for Orley. Offensive putback. No good. Third time. No good. That rebound's going to be taken the other way. So quickly get it in her front court to Draffin. She'll wait for some help, though. As Carrie McKinney will have it on the far side. Now she'll put her dribble down. Walk to the near side. Down low. Trying to back her way in. Shot off the glass. Too far under it was Katie McKinney. So Jamestown will come out of there with it. Another three-pointer up by Soro. That one banked off. No good. Rebound comes down to Russell. She'll need a little help with it. Try to hit Russell in the corner. He's had it for a moment, rather. Tried to hit Russell, but knocked out of bounds. So we'll stay, though, with Jamestown. Substitutions for both teams here. 322 left to go here in this third period. 32-15 the score in favor of Otterville. Meisenheimer gets it. Long three up. Good. Meisenheimer gets 
Her first tray makes it to six points. It's the first tray we've had in the ball game. Neil will have it. Now Katie McKinney just had it knocked out of her hands. Meisenheimer will take it the other way. It's one on two. She'll keep it herself laid off the glass. No good. Maybe been somebody on the back there, but rebound comes down to Neil. No call. McKinney, that's Carey, will have it. She'll kick it to Draffin. Now Katie McKinney thought about the three, doesn't take it. Draffin has it on the far side. Now Josie Neal with it here on the near side. Now McKinney will get it back. Now Neal with it. Draffin, sending a long ways out there. There's a three up. That one good. That one up by Carrie McKinney. So both teams exchanging threes now. Two and a half to go here in this third period. 35-18 in favor of Otterville. Eisenheimer has it. Bounce pass to the corner. She'll get it back. Had it stolen as Draffin takes it. And we have whistles. And we have Sorrell called for her second foul. First team foul here in the second half. So we'll be an inbound standing right in front of the scorer's table. Alter had it for a moment. They'll kick it on the far side to Carey McKinney. Shot up by Neal. No good. But she's going to go to the line. Is that called on Olivia Orley, her second, second team foul? Neal will be at the free throw line. Probably not the player that you'd want to descend to the free throw line. She... Is five of six free throws so far. 2.02 left here in the third period. Miss that one. Rebound is going to be poked around off of Jamestown. So we'll stay on that side of the court for Otterville. So inbound will go into McKinney. Now Draffin. Cross-court pass to Halter. Now near side with it is Neal. Looking down low, nothing doing there. She'll fire up a three. Left it short. Rebound is going to be fought for and taken by Jamestown. This one on two the other way. Trying to go in. Shot was blocked by Neal. That shot by Sumner. It was rejected into the into the seats there on the Jamestown bench. Minute 35 left to go here in this third period. Kenny will have the basketball. She'll back out towards center circle. All right, that's not McKinney. That's Meisenheimer. Minute 20 in county. Sumner will have it. And we have a 30-second timeout call, so we'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. So you want to sell your car, but you don't want to waste your time meeting with total strangers who either don't show up or want to haggle over price, only to delay the sale while they try to get financing from their bank. There's a better way. Bring your car into WK. We buy used cars directly from people just like you all the time. And we have cash on hand to purchase your car at fair market value immediately. So sell your car today at WK Ford, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Boonville, WK Chevy and Sedalia, and at WKFamily.com. Town. They do have the basketball, but they trail 36 to 18. Will inbound on their side of the court. Inbound goes into Meisenheimer. We're nearing a minute to go here in this third period. East will have it. Now Meisenheimer gets it. She'll work at far side. Now bounce pass near side. He's shot up no good. But she's going to go to the line. Foul called on Draffin, her first team first. So East will be at the free throw line. First free throw up, left it short. She has a second one coming. 101 left to go here in this third period. That one up, couldn't get that one to fall. Rebound will be fought for and taken by Neal. So Otterville will go the other way with it. No look pass off to the far side to Halter. 
Now by center circle is Draffin. Neal has it. Three-pointer up near side. It's in and out. No good. Rebound will be taken by He. She'll quickly give an out with pass off to Meisenheimer. She's trying to do something with it. She'll drive in. Had it poked out into the hands of Sorrells. Shot from the far side. That one up. No good. That by Sumner. Nice job to tightrope and get the pass is McKinney. That's Carrie McKinney. Here the fans give a round of applause. She tightroped in the corner, found some help. Was able to get it back for her team in the paint. Neil trying to back her way in. Spin move left hander up, no good. But she's going to go with the line. So that foul called on Sumner, her first. Team third, 49.7 seconds left. Neil will be at the free throw line. That one perfect. She is 6 of 8 from the free throw line. She's got a second one coming. That one left it short. Rebound will be taken by Sorrells. Almost had it stolen away, but was able to get an outlet pass off. Gina Meisenheimer had it for a moment. He's with the near side, thought about the three. She'll decide to take it. No good, too strong. Rebound comes down in the hands for a moment of Sumner. Eisenheimer will get it, wrap around pass. Another three-pointer by Heath, no good. Offensive rebound, that shot blocked by Neal. She's got a wide open lane in front of her. She's going to lay it off the glass, lay it in. She's got 18 points, leading scorer for either team. As we're nearing 10 seconds to go in this third period, Meisenheimer with a bounce pass far side to Sumner. Neal picked up her second foul there, hip checked her. She was trying to make a move to the bucket. 6.4 seconds left inbound. Meisenheimer head and shoulder fake steps in, took a long two, was blocked. Neal will have it. They will not get a shot off as that will take us to the end of the third period, as your score, Otterville 39, Jamestown 18. We'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. Are your end of the year insurance deductibles met? Hi, this is Morgan from Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine here in Sedalia. If you are scheduled for surgery or planning to have an elective procedure, your physical or occupational therapy could cost you little to nothing out of pocket. When you need personalized therapy, our dedicated, friendly staff of therapists are here for you. With more than 40 locations here in Missouri, we are everywhere you need us to be. To find a clinic near you, call us today or visit us online at Peak sportspine.com physical therapy or occupational therapy is a journey let us be there with you on the road to recovery haven't seen an avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup fragrances or skincare products no need to worry avon representative michelle carty has got you covered michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves you now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. With it was Sumner. She'll get it off to Meisenheimer working on the low key shot. Was blocked, went straight up in the air. Neil comes out of there with it. She'll have it here on the near side. Didn't really think about the three, but could have stopped and pulled it up. Kerry McKinney will have it out by center circle. Now near side with it is Katie McKinney. Now Halter with it. Now back to Katie. Neil will have it near side. Three-pointer by Katie McKinney. That one up offline. Too strong. Rebound comes down to Sorrells as she's quickly the other way. Meisenheimer has it under the bucket. Couldn't get the handle on it. Her shot will be blocked again by Neil. And we're going to have a scrum and tie up. She'll be tied up under the bucket by Katie McKinney. I had the right idea trying to get a fast break. Just could not get a handle on the basketball. Waterville has the lead and the basketball on the far side. They lead 39-18. Three-pointer from the far side up. No good. That one taken by Carrie McKinney. Rebound comes out of there with it. 
He is Meisenheimer. She'll work around traffic. Nice job to step in side of the tall trees there. Put up the shot. Bank it off the glass. The lead cut to 19 at 39-20. Alter has it here on the near side. Far side with it is Carrie McKinney. Give and go to Neal back to McKinney. Her shot up, no good. She'll go to the line. Russell is the guilty party there, I believe. That is the call, her second team fourth. Kenny will be at the free throw line. That's Carey. Got that one to clip the front of the rim and fall in. She's got a second one coming. She'll eye the bucket. Trying to make two for two from the charity stripe. That one high off the iron. Could not get it to fall in. Rebound will come down to Jamestown. A little go the other way. Meisenheimer steps in. Shot up off the glass. Rattles it in. She's got a couple buckets back to back. It's still a 40-22 score now, though. Still the lead in favor of Otterville. Otterville has the basketball. Katie and Carrie McKinney play a little catch out there. Now they get Halter involved. Neal has it in the paint. Throws up the left-hander, no good. Second try, no good. That one will be knocked out of bounds off of her. Got her own rebound, could not put it back up. Substitution here both ways. Five thirty-six left to go here in regulation. Jamestown does have the basketball, but the Lady Eagles trail 40 to 22. Eisenheimer will cross the timeline. Now she'll work it near side. Russell has a left wing three up. Hit the side of the backboard. High on the side of the backboard. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to Otterville. Kicking on the far side to Draffin. Now Neal has it. Mugging there. By McKinney, and they're going to say, count the bucket, you go to the line. That fell called on Orly, <clears throat> her third team fifth. So McKinney has a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. She cannot connect with that one, and ball is going to be saved into the hands of Loveland, who just threw it away. Nice job for Sorrell to poke it out from the backside. 42-22, but there's a steal by Katie McKinney. She's got wide open court in front of her. She'll lay it off the glass. No good, but she's going to go to the line. That is foul number four on Orley. Team foul number six. She's the only player right now that would be in foul trouble for either team. Free throw up. No good. Rimmed out. I can say I have seen a five-on-four game where, because of sickness and low player issues, a team only had five players they brought to a game. That one hit the iron and falls in. She's got 17 points in the game. However, the only reason they kept playing that game five on four was the team that had four points was well ahead. Shot up and good. Nice little jumper there by Sumner. She's got four points. So you can see a lopsided game as long as the team that has the least amount of players is well ahead. They'll play a little catch. There's Otterville. Nice shot. From behind, but no good. That one by Neal. He's got it and threw it up behind her. Ball's going to be taken away, though, on the other end by Otterville. As we're halfway through this final period. Katie McKinney will get the outlet pass. Left wing drafting her three-pointer up. No good rebound. 
Comes down to Carey McKinney. Her shot no good. Get her own rebound. Put it up a second time. Got it. She's got eight points in the game. It's now 45-24. Score in favor of Otterville. So Eisenheimer will have it in front court. East has it for a moment. Around the horn they go. Meisenheimer again on the far side. With it is Soros. He's three-pointer left it short. Off the front iron. It'll be taken rebound by Soros, so they'll reset it here. He's has it again. Bounce past the Soros on the far side. Near side with it is Meisenheimer. And she walked with it. Was trying to work through the double team, and she took steps. So we'll go back to Otterville. 316 left to go here in the game. 45-24 your score in favor of the Lady Eagles of Otterville. Pass over to Draffin. Now with it out front is McKinney. Carrie McKinney has it. Tried to go up with it. Got stripped, but offensive shot up and good by Neal. She put up 20 points in the game so far. Eisenheimer slowly walks it across the timeline. She'll leave it for Searles. Now get it back far side. Three-pointer up. No good. Rebound will be taken, put back up. That no good by Sorrells. McKinney, Katie McKinney gets the rebound. It's going to be last touched by one of the Jamestown players. So we'll go out of bounds. 2.38 left to go here in regulation. 47-24 your score in favor of Otterville. The boys of Otterville will look to Complete the sweep of this doubleheader here in the game following this one. Draffin will have it on the far side, left wing, Loveland. Back to Draffin. Had it knocked out, got it back. Out by center circle. Now Katie McKinney will have it. She'll put her dribble down. Driving in the paint. Tried to go up with it. Somebody got her on the way by. That one called on Sorrells, her Third, team seventh. Free throw up, good. So Katie McKinney earns the bonus. Second free throw up, that one no good. Rebound's going to be taken and put up and good off the glass by Carrie McKinney. So she gets an offensive put back as we're under two to play. With it, shot up is good by Sumner. She's got a couple buckets here in this fourth period. Kenny will have it. Now Neal looking to cross-court pass it over to Draffin. Down low in the paint, shot up by Carey, crawls across. kenny has got two more points. She's got 13 in the game, has seven in this fourth period. Minute and a half to go here in the game. Pass is going to be taken away. And Draffin gets the steal from the loose ball. She'll get it on the near side right wing with it. Is Katie McKinney. She'll fire up a three off the iron. No good. Loveland gets it, gives it back to her. Shot up. Good. Katie McKinney gets another basket after she misses that tray under a minute to go. That's foul called on a reach in. Foul call on Katie McKinney for reaching in her second, team third. 57.1 seconds left to go here. 54-26 the score. In favor of Otterville. Bounce pass here on the near side to Sorrell. Around the horn they go. He's with it. Now Meisenheimer. Down low shot. No good. But Loveland will pick up her second foul. 14 foul. So it should be an inbound underneath their own bucket. 44.6 seconds left. Jamestown losing. 54-26. He's has to go up and get a Sumner... Three-pointer up, couldn't bank it in. Rebound will be knocked out, go out of bounds. Let's say last touched by Jamestown. 
So it will be Otterville's basketball. Nearing 30 seconds to go in the game. Cross-court pass here on the near side to Draffin. Now back on the far side to Halter. She'll fire up a three. Couldn't get it in. Rebound comes out to Sorrells. We've got 20 seconds left, two on two the other way. She'll stop, fire it up, no good. And we have a foul over the back. That foul called on Draffin, her second, team fifth. 15.3 seconds left. Jamestown will drop the first game of this doubleheader. Have double doubleheader action tonight. Three-pointer up by Orley. No good. Rebound will be taken by Soros, so she'll get an offensive rebound. Eisenheimer will have it on the right wing. She's trying to drive around traffic. Lays it up and lays it in. And she gets a bucket before time expires. And that takes us to a final of 54-28. to 28. As Otterville, Lady Eagles beat... The Jamestown Lady Eagles. We're going to take a quick break and be back with your scoring summary and your postgame activities as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the WK Holiday Shootout, the 2021 version, the 20th annual WK Holiday Shootout. As we'll pause and be back, you're listening to exclusive coverage of that here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber, you're an employer, you're a parent, you're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. Do you experience pain? Are you tired of pills and prescriptions? Hi, this is Deidre from Sedalia Laser Pain Center inside Bothwell Peak Sport and Spine. Laser therapy is a medical breakthrough in treating all your aches and pains. And our physical therapy patients enjoy this treatment at no charge. We can treat everything from sore muscles, strains, tears, pre and post surgery pain, arthritis, and so much more. So call today or find us online at peaksportspine.com for your free consultation and beat the pain the natural way. Well, both boys' teams out on the court getting warmed up before I take that back. Only one of the teams out there getting warmed up is just under 15 minutes to go. Taking a look at your scoring summary for the Otterville Lady Eagles. As they win by a final of 54-28. to 28. They had two leading scorers, junior Katie McKinney. And senior Josie Neal each had 20 points apiece. 13 points put in by senior Carrie McKinney. And two points by Ewan Loveland to round out their scoring. Taking a look at the uh, Jamestown Lady Eagles scoring. Their leading score with 12 points was Gina Eisenheimer. Six points put in by Kaylee Russell and Annabelle Sumner. And four points put in by Jolene Sorrells to round out their scoring. Well, we have one more game on tap tonight as we've done three of our four games this evening and three of four, sorry, three of 22 for the tournament as we're set for the nightcap here to wrap up our day one action here in the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout. That's going to do it for this broadcast. I'm going to sign off, get a chance to take a quick break, and then we'll be back for the boys' half of the doubleheader as... The Otterville Eagles taking on the Jamestown Eagles. We'll be back here in about 10 minutes to get a pregame as you're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2021 holiday, WK Holiday Shootout here on the Show Me Sports Network. I'm Blake Gasway. Until I talk to you here in about 10 minutes, so long, and we'll talk to you then.
You've been listening to the biggest and absolute best game coverage in mid-Missouri on the exclusive home for the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout, the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasway and the broadcast crew are the ones that know your team the best. Exclusive coverage of the 2021 WK Holiday Shootout has been brought to you by... Serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world, this is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Mm-hmm.